everybody mr d here talking to you on a tuesday welcome back to another episode we are back from spring break i hope everyone had a good chance to rest their mind and their body but it is another week distance learning it's time to get back into action today we're going to talk about a really important topic that not only is important for physical education but also life in general we're going to be talking about teamwork we're going to go over kind of what is it how it's important. At the end, I'm going to give you a really fun game that you can do at home that help you work on that teamwork aspect. So this week, we were supposed to be starting our cooperative games unit. I really want to do that after a break because everyone had a week, week and a half off. And it's a good way to get you back into working in a group and really getting back in that classroom atmosphere. Obviously, we don't have that opportunity given the situation. We're going to talk about it anyways. It is one of my favorite units to do all year. It does a great job of hitting all three of those learning domains. When we talk about learning domains, we're talking about things like our psychomotor domain. And that's going to be things like your sports skills, your fitness skills, your locomotor, your manipulatives, the way you move, the way you throw a ball, things like that. Second thing we're going to talk about our cognitive domain. That's our mental or our thinking domain. This could be things, again, in sports, movement concepts, strategies, principles. We're talking about problem solving, creativity, and depending on the activity, it can also be some of those core subjects uh, that could be integrated in. So we're talking about math, English, science, things like that could also be involved in our cooperative games. Finally, it's going to be our affective domain. That's going to be our emotional or attitude. We are talking about personal social responsibility, and to bring it full circle, teamwork. So teamwork actually is so important that in physical education, it falls under standard four of our national standards. It is something that you need to be able to do in every grade level all the way up through when you graduate high school, being able to work with others. So again, Cooperative Games is a great chance for you to work on those skills in a game-like atmosphere. So let's kind of dive into teamwork a little more. So what is teamwork? It can be defined many different ways. Uh, here's my best way I like to define it. It is a willingness of a group of people to work together to achieve a common goal. So again, you're working with more than one person and you have an objective that you need to complete in order to be successful. You know, teamwork works for everybody of all ages, whether you're in pre-K, or you are a 60-year-old at your job, teamwork is very important for all ages. Uh, when would you have to do teamwork? Again, if you're in class, you're given an assignment or a task to do within a group. So again, in PE, we could be doing a cooperative game. It could be you're on a team playing basketball, handball, hockey, it doesn't matter. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. What? Even the classmates were given a group assignment to do with more than one person. That's when you'd have to have teamwork. Again, where would you do it? It could be in your classroom. Again, rather it be in your homeroom or in our PE class. 
whether you're at home working on a game with a sibling or a parent, or again, when you get older, at your job, you're going to be using teamwork pretty much your entire life. So it is something very important. So again, why? Why is teamwork important? You might have seen that acronym. I'll put it over here on the screen somewhere about team. You know, it is important when everyone's working together, the task does become more successful and easier to complete. And I'm sure some of you have seen before in the past when we've played our cooperative games. If we have a couple teams going against each other and you have the one team that everyone's working together, they usually seem to get the task done a little quicker, a little easier as opposed to that group who's arguing and people aren't doing what they're supposed to be doing and that group kind of falls behind. They might get it done eventually, but they're not going to get done as quickly or successful as that other group that was having good teamwork. So let's talk about how. How can we have successful teamwork? I've come up with five essential elements for really, really successful teamwork. Number one, we're going to talk about goals. When we say goals, we're talking about what do you need to accomplish? So right when you get in your group, figure out what do we need to be doing? What is our goal? What is our objective that we need to do? Number two, communication. You need to be able to communicate within your group. Again, in PE, when we're playing a sport, you need to be able to talk to your teammates. If we're doing a cooperative game, you're listening to each other. You're taking turns. Everyone's voice is heard. Communication is key. Number three, delegation. When we talk about delegation, we're talking about roles. Everybody has a specific role within the group. A good analogy is going to be football. I like to use football a lot. Everybody wants to be the quarterback. Not everybody can be the quarterback. Everyone has the role. You have your quarterback, your offensive lineman, running back, wide receiver. Everybody has a role to do in that offensive group in order to have the team be successful. And coming off of that, number four, we're going to talk about efficiency. We're talking about you're doing what you're supposed to do. So again, when we think back in PE class, when you're in a group, you know, if we're talking about a cooperative game, everyone has their role. If Billy is supposed to be doing one thing and Allison's doing another, they're each doing what they need to do. If Billy is off in the corner, picking his nose and not doing what he needs to be doing, the group is not going to be as successful. So everyone needs to be doing their role and doing what they need to be doing. And finally, number five, supporting each other. Very, very important. You're encouraging one another. You know, you're rooting them on, you're cheering them on. Also, you're helping them. If they're having difficulties, you're helping them be successful. They've done studies, you know, 60% of the time, it works every time. Now, I want to show you a really fun activity you can do at home. You only need one other person, minimal equipment. Again, trying to make things simple, easy that you can do at home. Really fun. Let's go check it out. All right, everybody, we are outside. We're going to play a little game called You Can't See Me. In this game, you need two people. You need a laundry basket, and I got a bunch hey. of socks here so one person is going to be the catcher they are going to have the laundry basket the other person is going to be the tosser they are going to be tossing the socks what you're going to want to do is the person that's the tosser is going to be tossing the socks over their shoulder backwards and the other person is going to try to catch them inside the laundry basket so the catcher can move around tossers are going to stay where they are the catcher needs to give the tosser direction. So you gotta have really good teamwork to be successful in order to catch as many socks as you can. So again, it's up to you whether you catch one or 10, try to get as many as you can with what you have to do. The big thing though is the person who's tossing, please make sure you're not looking because the whole point is that you can't see and the catcher's gotta give you directions. So let's see a couple kids try this out. That's awesome. There you have it, everybody. That was game You Can't See Me. Pretty easy. Not a lot to it. But again, you got to have really good teamwork communication to make that game successful. 
So thanks for joining me on another episode of Talking on a Tuesday. We'll be back tomorrow with our workout of the day Wednesday. Till then, see ya.